It's a pretty, well, it's a very good comet. It's supposed to be one of the brightest comets we've had in years. Comet A3 is approaching Earth, and the show is about to get good. Dave Kirsch teaches astronomy at TMU and says this will likely be the best chance to see a comet in years, but also says since this is the first time the comet is passing nearby, at least within recorded history, it remains a little mysterious. This comet has, has garnered quite a lot of speculation ever since it was discovered because we realized it was going to come relatively close and it was pretty big. So right away, a lot of people got very excited, perhaps too excited. Then there was some speculation that it would break apart when it passed close to the sun and that would be the end of it and there'd be nothing. Uh, at this point, it does look like it's going to be pretty bright. Is this the kind of thing where you have to go and, you know, call your astronomy enthusiast friend who has a telescope? Can you go out to your backyard or the local park and see it at night? It'll be bright enough to see with the naked eye. So you'll just be able to go outside after sunset and look to the west and you'll see a, a bright dot and that, that, that'll be the comet. The, the comets, they're the ones that will come and go and come back at some point, right? Yes, so comets generally come from the outer solar system. Uh, so this comet, it looks like it's on an orbit that has taken it tens of thousands of years to get here from the outer solar system. A comet, it's not that it comes and goes in the blink of an eye. It's not like a shooting star. It stays up in the sky, right? When do, can, when do we expect to start to see it and how long does that show last? It's visible now, although it takes equipment to see it properly now, uh, but it, it'll be visible over weeks. So it comes closest to the sun from our perspective uh, in, I think, around October 9th or so. And then after that, it'll just get more and more visible. But it's also going farther and farther away, so then it'll get less and less visible. So if I say for about a month or so after it becomes visible again. And if you're hoping to show the kids, there's some more good news. By the peak of the show, A3 will be visible right after sunset. He adds, while just looking with your eyes is great, if you could add binoculars or even a telescope into the mix, it'll only get better. And while the darker skies are optimal, this one might be bright enough to punch through that light pollution. If it gets up to the brightness that we're hoping for, you should still, still be able to see it, but not necessarily as much more than a dot. At its closest to the Earth, A3 will get roughly 180 times the distance to the moon. Again, for that best show, start looking around October the 9th in the western sky close to the horizon. For City News, I'm David Zura.